This life, normal paths are not to be driven. We're too busy. I got my own dreams and ambitions. Everything I want, I'll bring to fruition. I'm my own boss, here I make my own decisions. My father speaks through me, through my intuition. And when he speaks, you best believe I'ma listen. A tunnel vision when I get up in the zone. What I want, I manifest to being on my own. And all I need is my creator's permission. Then he gave it to me when he gave me the vision. I'm made in his image. Yeah. We weren't made to just exist, y'all. We were made to create. But how do I even know how much a property is worth to even make an offer on it? Y'all, let's talk ARV. Okay, so ARV, y'all, I think this is so cool. Y'all see that? So ARV is actually the after repair value of the property, right? The ARV is the after repair value. And I'm about to show y'all how to know what the after repair value of a property is. So in order to know the after repair value, we are going to first pull some comps. Let me just show y'all this really fast, really fast. That's a wave, it's so cool. All the beautiful artwork, right? So cool. All right. So let's talk. I'm going to sit at this beautiful chair. <laughs> chair couch. So let's talk ARV and how to actually pull comps. It rocks. Oh, that is so cool. It's a rocking chair couch. So cool. Okay, so I'm in the, uh, the actual living room of the hotel because it's not considered a lobby here. It's considered a living room at the Wave Hotel. Look at those cool light fixtures. Right? So how do I know the actual value of the property or the after repair value of the property? How do I actually pull the ARV? Um... So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna get a real estate agent to do it. <laughs> I'm just kidding y'all, just kidding. I'm showing y'all how to do this on your own. Um, basically what they do is, and what you're gonna do is, you're gonna pull comps or comparables. So how do we know what a property is worth? We only know what a property is worth based off what the open market will pay for the property how much the property sells for is how much it's worth. But we don't know how much the property is worth because the property has not recently sold, right? We might know how much it was worth years ago, but the market is constantly growing and changing and that type of thing. We have inflation and a whole bunch of other stuff. And so how do we know how much the property is worth today, okay? We're gonna find properties that are just like it. Um, within a, a certain one or two square mile radius of the property and we're going to um, then find a property that is very 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 similar to ours for example um, if our property is a three bedroom we're gonna find a three bedroom property if our property is a two bedroom we're gonna find a two bedroom property uh, one bath we're gonna find a one bath two bath we're gonna find a two bath right so Ideally, I'm looking for if my property is a my subject property that I'm actually interested in putting an offer in on is a 4-2. I'm going to look for a 4-2 within a one to two square mile radius that looks just like my property. And um, if my property has a pool, I'm looking for one with a pool. If it has a garage, I'm looking for one with a garage. Now, what happens if I can't find one with the exact same features as the property as my subject property? What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at properties that are very similar um, and I'm going to try to figure out what a garage in the area costs, right? So I might take two properties um, and and my subject property being one does not have a garage, well then, and the others have garages. Well, I'm going to find out what some of the others with a garage looks like and what some of the others without a garage look like. And I'm going to try to divvy up and figure out the difference of what the garage is worth so that I can subtract it from my end price to actually find the actual value of my property, right? I'm going to find a property that's within 
300 um, square feet, give or take, of my subject property. So if uh, the subject property is 1,500 square feet, I'm going to look at places that are 12 to 1,800 square feet. I'm going to look at properties that were built within 10 years of my property. So if my property is um, a 1990 property, I'm going to look at properties that were built between 1980 and 2000. Um, I'm going to consider properties that are, um, like I said, within a one, two square mile radius. But if you're in a very rural place, you might have to go out a little further. Um, to look at properties that were sold. And how am I going to look at these properties? You can go to Zillow.com, Trulia.com, Redfin.com, and you can look at properties that have been sold, when they've been sold, see pictures of everything, how much they were. So you're going to use those sites to actually pull up properties to figure out what the property may be worth. Um, and so what I'm looking for is I'm going to pull three comps or comparables or comparable properties um, to the property that I am figuring out what it's worth. So I'm going to pull up uh, three and I'm going to that recently sold within ideally the past six months. If you're in a hot area, it might be one that sold in the past um, few weeks. It might be one that sold if you're in a very rural area. Uh, within the past year but properties that have most recently sold in the area on those sites and you are going to um, add them up and divide by three and come up with um, the average that the property is worth and that is how we pull comps or comparables and that is how we figure out what the property is worth so in this this video we've talked about um, how to figure out what the property is worth ultimately and you learn new terms like comps comparables uh you learned where to find that information for free there's no cost zillow.com redfin.com that's r-e-d-f-i-n.com zillow.com and trulia t-r-u-l-i-a.com so y'all stay tuned i got more <clears throat> more information for y'all excuse me and I'm going to continue to rock in my lovely <laughs> rocking chair couch. <laughs> Stay tuned. Y'all like, share, subscribe.